Afghanistan has demanded that the United States return a young Afghan detained throughout his teenage years in Guantanamo Bay, where lawyers say he was tortured. The Afghan government sent a letter to the U.S. Embassy in Kabul demanding the repatriation of Mohammad Jawad. Afghan police arrested Jawad in Kabul in 2002 when he was just 12 years old, after a grenade attack that wounded two U.S. soldiers. A senior government lawyer told Agence France Press that the detention of Jawad, now aged around 19, is, quote, totally illegal. His U.S. government assigned lawyers who are in Kabul to push the Afghan authorities to demand his release also say he's innocent. One of his military defense lawyers, Major Eric Montalvo, told a press conference that there that the boy was abused during his detention and that such facts have been established in U.S. courts. The chief of Afghanistan's Bar Association, Rahula Karisada, told reporters that Jawad tried several times to commit suicide by smashing his head on the walls of his cell and regularly cried for his mother in the first years of his detention. Jawad's uncle, Gul Nak, told reporters that his family only learned he was in Guantanamo 10 months after he was taken to Cuba when they received a letter from him through the International Committee of the Red Cross. Nak said, quote, he was a child. He had nothing to do with the Taliban or the terrorists. Nak said the boy, whose father died fighting the Soviet invasion in the 1980s, worked as a well digger.